As sunrise approached, Allied forces waited patiently for zero hour in two separate amphibious operations. Their paths cleared the day before in small but important engagements fought throughout the theater, particularly by Australian pilots from Buna and Milne Bay that torpedoed and sank a light cruiser, then rocketed a transport in the Solomon Sea. Elsewhere, in need of a more substantial surface fleet as Allied forces advanced along the northern coast of New Guinea, Anzac Squadron, under the command of Admiral Kreis, entered the theater and steamed at full speed to catch Task Force 10, somewhere near Buna. Hello, welcome back to War on the Sea. It is September 27th, day 52 of the campaign, 5 a.m. in the morning, and we are preparing our invasions of two locations, Ley and Bougainville. We have Task Force 30 over here. It is loaded with troops. We just need to get some supplies on these C3s and head out to Ley. We're going to do that again at probably around 11 because it's going to take about 11 hours to get there and we want to land in the middle of the night. I do expect a heavy aircraft, uh, well, attacks from these bases uh, against my task forces, so I got to keep them together. Task Force 20 is already loaded up with troops and supplies and they are on their way, well, they will be, on their way to Bougainville around again 11 a.m. I have my my uh i need to rename this one i have my uh search aircraft up i'm probably gonna have to redo them because generally when i reload this game it messes up the uh the automatic um uh routes for these aircraft so i'll probably have to redo them all so in the morning we're just going to run our convoys and get ready to go to these destinations also I've decided I'm not going to, probably not going to upgrade this to a level 5 airfield. I'm going to divert and the supplies and engineering parts and fuel that is going there, I'm going to divert them to Guadalcanal because I want to get this, this uh, airfield up and running more quickly and it's just going to take too long if I rely on New Hebrides. And I honestly, I don't, I probably don't need these here. I got plenty of aircraft to deal with the Japanese. We're going to go ahead and I think Task Force 31, we're going to probably, yeah, let's go ahead and have it. I think I'll go around, go, I think I'll go a little bit to the south and then up here. Same thing with Task Force 35 with the fuel. It's going to take a while to get there. But uh, we will get there. And we also have 21. They're coming in with supplies. And I believe, yeah, engineering parts. Task Force 25 is on its way back for more fuel. I don't even know if I have fuel here. I have some fuel, 210. That won't be enough to fill up all the ships, but that's fine. So that's it. That's the situation. I'm going to allow the the clock to roll and we'll just watch. Basically, we're probably going to be watching for enemy aircraft uh, throughout the day. Didn't get a notification on this, but I noticed as I was playing this uh, looks like maybe a merchant vessel is trying to get back to Rabal. It looks like, yep, it's on its way there. So we're going to hop in the Kingfish and see if we can one ooh, good position see if we can find out what it is and then to sink it oh there it is right over there and it is indeed a transport so we need to head off in this direction as quickly as possible let's get it up to nine knots we'll stay at 30 feet and uh let's make that our target and build up a solution we'll see we're gonna have to probably how fast is it going it's going 12 knots so we might we should be able to close in on it it's not going that fast we're going nine so we should be able to close a little bit before we before we shoot 
Okay, we're really close to it. Um, it does not have... I checked, it does not have any weapons, uh, except for anti-aircraft. So, actually, I'm going to surface the boat. And we're going to go up and use the main gun. And hit it with the main gun. HE rounds, I think, would work. All right, and let's go ahead and start firing. Okay, merchant ship down. We used, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 rounds from our our gun. We have, how do, what do we have left? We have 40 AP, 15 H, actually we used more like 20 rounds or so from the main gun. But we, we sank it and uh, that's all she wrote for that ship. Okay, it's not quite 11 o'clock yet, but it's close enough. It's 10.30, and I'm kind of anxious. I want to get these loaded up. And we do have troops here. Let's go ahead and get uh, more troops on the destroyers. Okay, that leaves us with 903 supplies. And we still have 10,000 troops sitting here at Buna. We need a, bit, a few more supplies. But Task Force 30... Looks to be, I just want to make sure I got everything, looks to be loaded up. So we're going to send them on their way to lay. And again, it's going to be about 11 hours. So we should arrive there about 9.30ish, something like that at night. And Task Force t uh, 30, uh, 10, I'm sorry, uh, Saratoga will escort. Uh, for now, we'll just move them up to here. We're going to try and keep them relatively close to the transports. Task Force 15 is still lagging behind, but I'll eventually get them up there. Uh, let's see, let's have Task Force 20. They are already ready to go, and we're gonna have them head out towards Bougainville. And again, about 11 hours until they get there. And they will be closely escorted by Task Force 1 and 7 as they move along. Okay, it looks like fighters from Lei have discovered Task Force 10 and 30 heading towards them. So I'll probably be launching some fighters from here. I'll wait till they get... Ah, bombers coming in too. Excellent. So let's go and let's wait until they get a little closer. And then we will launch here. Let's go to highlight Saratoga and launch aircraft. And we'll probably, I don't know. They, I'm guessing they have nine to 12 bombers. So let's launch. We have plenty of wildcats. I think maybe 15, 15 should be enough. There we go. And let's get out there and get those fighters first. 
There we go. Task Force 10. Looks like uh, we have an encounter. Let's begin. And of course, these are going to be some bombers and fighters coming in. Hopefully, they didn't bypass. There we go. Getting right into the dogfight right away, immediately. And let's see what they have here. Looks like they have, ooh, some Nels. Are those, is that what that is? Yeah, it looks like it. And what else do they have here? Is that, is that all they got? Okay, I think we got them all. I don't see we're not we're not we're all flying in straight and level lines, so I'm assuming that's all of them. Well, no, there's more coming. These oh, here are the baddies that I was looking for. And I was gonna go shoot up them too. Okay, I think we got all those as well. Let's look at the report. We lost some Wildcats, actually. We have one, two, three, four, five, six left out of 15. Wow. So let's look at the report again. We lost, yeah, we lost nine Wildcats, but we shot down all of their bombers, and that's probably all they have for the day. Let's retreat. And again, we still have, we still have many, let's see, Saratoga still has 17 Wildcats remaining. So, uh, probably after this operation, we're probably going to have to go back to uh, Cairns to get our aircraft resupplied, but we'll see. Uh, we're still heading towards Ley. Uh, Task Force 10 still here. Uh, here is Task Force 20 right here. That's its progress. Task Force 1 and 7 are with it again, and we'll continue. 
and see how this goes. Okay, Task Force 30 has reached Lay. It is time to unload all the troops and supplies and see how we're doing here. This should be interesting. We've landed at Lay and wow. We greatly outnumber them. We have we only have 4,600 troops, but they might have a thousand or less here, something like that. Task Force 30, that's really good to see. Task Force 30 will make its way back to Buna. I think we're gonna pick up some more troops, probably. Probably not supplies though. We need more supplies here, it looks like. And again here at Lay, we have 10,000. Ah, that might be enough actually. I Again, I was diverting these two to uh, Guadalcanal. I, actually, I think that's probably going to be enough. We have 6,700 supplies over here if we need them. We can always come back to Port Moresby if we need to. Let's, again, let's have Task Force 30 head on back to Buna. And then, and then, let's see, Task Force 15 finally caught up. Task Force 10, I'll hang out here until Task Force 30 is out of the area. And then over here, it looks like we might be in a similar situation. It looks like Task Force 20 might be close enough to Bougainville. Let's go ahead and try and unload all the cargo here. It looks like we can. Now let's see what we got at Bougainville. I don't really expect a whole lot here. I don't think they they don't they didn't have any uh, uh, an airbase or, or a port here. Oops, here we go. Oh right, okay. So it's the same situation. We probably they probably have less than a thousand troops here, and we outnumber them greatly. We have plenty of supply. Both of these uh, should be over fairly soon, within a week, I would think. We'll see. Uh, but Shortland Islands lasted quite a while, at least a week. Let's go, Task Force Twenty. Let's have you leave the area and probably have you head on back to to uh, Guadalcanal Task Force 7 same thing let's just move, pull you back to about right here Task Force 1 I thought about going up here and doing a little shore bombardment but nah all right, it's 5 a.m. Uh, September 28th, day 53 of the operation. We were able to successfully evacuate the Lay area and Bougainville area. We have Task Force 20. Dang, they're slow, but we got them out of the area. And we want to make sure that they make their way back to Guadalcanal. And Although, you know what? Actually, let's look at Shortland. Do I need 4,000 troops here? Probably not. Maybe I should take, I, maybe I'll leave a thousand here, move the troops and supplies up to Bougainville. I think actually I might do that. Let's run that operation today. Let's come back to Bougainville. We don't need all those troops here. Task Force 7, just hang out here. Task Force 1, hang out over here as well to cover. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll probably do the same thing here at Buna. I don't need 10,000 troops here. We'll leave the supplies. Let's go ahead and get the troops, or at least some of them, and load them up, and we're going to make our way back over to Lay. I don't know how long is this going to take to get here, because we know we have to leave around 11 o'clock, maybe 12. So we got about two hours. That should that should work. That'll work. That'll work. We'll pick them up and, and uh, start making another run the same day. Okay, Kingfish has another encounter with a merchant vessel or a fuel ship let's begin and see what it is we're in a good position it's morning it's still kind of dark oh this is perfect uh that looks i don't know is that that's not a fuel ship what is this aratama maru class merchant and again, no weapons. It does have some anti-aircraft capability. No weapons. Let's navigate in its direction. Let's increase speed to 9 and target it. And let's blow it out of the water again. We do have, we have plenty of HE ammo, yes. 85, that, sh that should be good. Okay, we're kind of at uh, can't miss range, so uh, let's surface. Let's go ahead and surface and surprise the hell out of them. 
And let's start with our gun. Once we get surfaced. And I can only imagine what's going on on the bridge over here. Let's go ahead and fire. Get that gun going. So I'm going to check the report. This thing, I'm not getting a whole lot of damage on it, it feels like. Let's take a look. No damage. Interesting. Well, is it armored? I don't know if this, maybe it's an armored transport or something. I don't know. How about some AP? Let's try some AP rounds. I mean, I could I use my torpedoes, I guess. Minor damage. Okay, we're up to minor damage. I'm going to have, actually, let's have her stop. Cease fire. And then let's torpedo her. I'm going to see if I can use the rear torpedoes. I'm going to turn. Let's turn. And fire a spread. I'm going to reduce that angle there a little bit. And we'll slow down, actually. I don't know if this, this may or may not work. We'll try two torpedoes. I, I'm just curious to see if this works. 68% solution. Yep, total whiff, which is kind of what I expected. Um, but uh, we're on our way. We're going to basically, we're going to move up in front of her and then turn, get a better angle. Okay, we raced ahead of her. And if she would just cooperate and stay on this course, that would be great. So I'm going to turn, port. Let's just do it like this. Oh, I'm a little too close. There we go. And uh, narrow the field of the arc here. Our solution is 74. We're going to fire two more torpedoes. Eh, yeah, two. 23, 22, 21. What's our solution? 76. We're building up a solution. I did slow down a little bit. Let's just go ahead and slow way down. And uh, see how we're doing now. 76, 78... Okay, let's look at the report and see what it says. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. Probably, I don't know, it might sink on its own, but probably not. I'm turning Kingfish around to maneuver for another torpedo strike. Since the main gun doesn't seem to do much damage to this thing, might have to give it, get it another, give it another torpedo. It's also possible that our gun may help now. Let's do AP again. And we'll go ahead. How many rounds do we have left of AP? We have 33, 57 high explosive. We'll try some high explosive first. Let's go ahead and fire. Maybe we can sink it with a with the deck gun. I mean, it's already on fire. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna see if I can maneuver in a little closer. 
so we're not wasting ammo. Let's cease, and then I will move in closer. It actually appears as if the fire is spreading. I haven't looked at the report in a little bit. Let's take a look. Critical damage now. Heavy flooding still. Uh, we'll see if we can help it along. Let's do some HE fire. We got a cargo explosion on her. I'm gonna order to cease fire. We have 33 left. And let's look one more time at the report. Critical still heavy. I think she's gonna sink. I mean, these fires have been going for a, quite a while and they show no signs of stopping. So we're just gonna sit here and watch. Well, that's it. Merchant ship finally went down. That fire just would not stop. It spread to the rear of the ship, and then we had a, another cargo explosion, and then that was it. She's gone down. That's two merchant vessels. Kingfish has sunk. We're going to go ahead and uh, leave the area. Here's the report one more time. Another two command points. We have, I think, six probably. Let's leave. Yeah, now we have five command points. Not a whole lot to do anything with, but uh, we'll continue. It is, uh, what time is it? It is 6.30 in the morning, and uh, that's about all we've seen so far today. Well, I've noticed once again a steady stream of fighter aircraft. I don't know what they are, but I'm, I'm assuming they're zeros out this far. They're coming actually from the east and traveling west. I don't know if there's another light carrier out here. I haven't been able to find one. Of course, the Sunderlands are only going out this far, so maybe it's over, I don't know. But uh, there's a, a bunch of, it looks like zeros. And maybe maybe they came from Buka, and or in that case, they're Oscars, I don't know. Well, now they're going back. I should probably send up if I have some fighters here, let's look, let's send up some fighters from Guadalcanal. I'll send up like uh, f f four Wildcats and then I want to see what these are. I'm going to send them out here, see if I can identify them. And then that'll tell me what's, what else, if anything is out this way. Oh, also I noticed, I was like, when is the Enterprise coming back? Well, I look at the dockyard. She's not in the dockyard anymore. She's been repaired. I didn't see that. I don't know when that happened. Of course, I don't have enough command points to grab her. But, yeah, if I go to New Sea and uh, yeah, Yorktown class, she's here. She's available. I just can't afford her right now. So, um, I guess we'll wait until the next time. Or we, may, we may not even need her until uh, for the rest of the campaign. Uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, we're getting close here. Let's jump in the Wildcats and see if we can... Oh, of course it's raining, which means I probably won't find the aircraft. 
Visibility is only 30%. Should be right in front of me, though. All right, we found it. It is... It is a zero. Interesting. Oh, we need you to attack as well. So, what is the top speed here? We may not be able to catch it. It is... They can go at 300. We're at 2. See, they, they kind of screwed around there for a little bit. And now it's going to outrun us. Well, at least we know what it is. Let's go ahead and leave. And I'm going to send them back to Guadalcanal. So there is a light carrier probably out here somewhere. Probably beyond my Sunderland's reach. But we do have Hornet here. Okay, less than a day after landing, I just got notified that Lay is under Allied control already. They don't have very many troops here, maybe a few hundred, something like that. Let's take a look at uh, what aircraft we're going to have. Lightnings, Air Cobras, Havocs, and Mitchells, just like Port Moresby. Very nice. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's going to be level... What is this? Level 2? So we'll probably have... We'll probably have like six of each of these, probably something like that. that that'd be nice to have. Uh, that's all. I haven't heard anything about Bougainville. Let's take a look here. The, it's probably going to be the same way. Ooh, well, no, we don't have control yet, but we probably be, we probably will soon. I still keep seeing this line of zeros going back and forth here. Uh, Task Force 20 is on its way to Bougainville, and I also just, you know, just because I am want to, Task Force 30 is loaded up with more troops and supplies <laughs> to go to, to lay, and then from there, of course, if I was continuing the campaign, we would hit Cape Gloucester, but uh, we won't be doing that in this campaign. I think that's, uh, that's it for now. We're just going to continue. Oh, uh, Task Force 15. I did see a group, Japanese Task Force, right here. It was consisted of uh, three destroyers. I'm chasing after it. I'm going to see if I can get some action for my Australian friends here. Okay, I've been whittling down these these zeros that have been going back. And there's definitely... I, this first time I've seen this here. There's definitely another carrier out here somewhere. And there's a shit ton of zeros here. I've already shot down three or four of them. And now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so more. Could be a, a, a large carrier. We'll see. I do have a a uh, encounter here. I have four wildcats and four lightnings up here. Let's go tactical. We're in the rain again. Let's see if we can spot them. It looks like we did. What do we have here? We have three zeros, uh, four zeros against some lightnings and wildcats. Let's have the wildcats. Uh, attack. All of them attack. Attack, attack. We have... Uh, oh, shit. There's... there's. Oh, no. Um, What does the report say? Seven against eight. Hmm. I don't know. We'll give it a shot here for a little bit and see if it goes our way. Nope, uh, there's a ton of them that just showed up, so we're going to retreat. I think they have like, okay, they have 10 here. We had shot down a, a one or two, and a bunch more showed up. There's a major carrier over here. I need to bring probably Hornet back. We're going to go ahead and, although, man, it's 2.30. We're getting close to dropping off. I, I guess I'll wait and see. Actually, I think Task Force 7 is going to start making its way back. I'm pretty sure she's needed over here. And I now I wish I had enough command points for Enterprise. But again, we have 22 Wildcats, 15... Yeah, if, if, it, is a, if it is a large carrier, and I think... I think they have um, uh, one of them left. One of them left, I believe. 
Okay, we got bombers coming in. I launched some wildcats from Task Force 7 from Hornet because I saw these bombers coming in from, I think, Buka. I'm not sure exactly, but they were. I saw them right about here. Launched wildcats. It looks like they, I don't know if they just went past, but now it says we have an encounter with Task Force 1. Fortunately, our wildcats are right here. There's 10 of them. Uh, let's go ahead and begin with Task Force 1. Task Force 20 is almost at uh, its, at its drop-off point. Let's bring the, well, the Wildcats know they're going to come back and hit these Nels, these Torpedo Bombers. We got some Bettys also. Looks like we got six Bettys and three Nels. Should be able to handle them pretty easily. Okay, I think that's all of them we lost. I know we lost at least one aircraft. Let's take a look at the report. We, lo we lost two, two Wildcats. They lost all nine of their bombers. Good work. Did they get a hit on, on, on Philly? Let's take a look at Philadelphia. It looks like, yeah, they got a minor hit on Philadelphia. Looks like, it says damage heavy, but it's, it has damage from previous combat she should be fine it's just one compartment all right here's our position now i wonder if task force 20 can you unload yet probably not not quite not quite i, I want to unload all your cargo and get the hell out of there over here we have task force 30 which is still looks like she's about six and a half hours away and we have Task Force 10 with the Saratoga. I'm going to bring her in a little closer. And still, Task Force 15 is looking for enemy ships out here. I might go after them. Let's go ahead and send her up here and see if we can go after that Task Force. Maybe it'll turn around. Who knows? We'll see. I'm a little concerned about this. Um, but I think we can get Task Force 7 back here in time. In fact, I might swap. I might bring Saratoga back. Back. I don't know. They have, they have more aircraft for this kind of fight. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. We'll, we'll see. Okay, I think we're ready to unload cargo from Task Force 20. I'm pretty sure you're close enough. Let's go to unload cargo. It looks like we were able to. Yep, all the ships are empty. And now... Bougainville looks like this, 7,600 troops, 16, 000, almost 17,000 supplies. They have hardly anything here. We should honestly have this by the within a day or so, but we'll see. Let's get Task Force 20 out of the area and back to a relatively safe distance. And let's see, Task Force 7 is already moving back. Task Force 1, I'm not going to move yet. 
they will be basically shadowing Task Force 20 on the way back. These Wildcats will be protecting Task Force 20 as well. I thought they already were. There we go. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. The other thing I'm doing is uh, I launched some lightnings. I'm going after these bomber these bomber planes here. And I'm going to try and shoot them down in case this is a carrier. I want to shoot down any unprotected bombers that I could find. All right, I found it. What is it? It is definitely, it's a, it's a, a Val. So there's 100% confirmation that there's a carrier out here. And uh, let's see if these guys can shoot this down without getting shot down themselves. All right, one down. We're going to try and... Oh, there's another one coming my, my way. Let's go get them. And after that, we'll go after this one and shoot down to many, as many of these as we can find. Well, it looks like we have an encounter with Task Force 1 that is protecting Task Force 20. And uh, these look like fighters. There's some bombers out here, but they were moving to the southeast. Um, likely going back to whatever's over here, but that's a long distance for, for them to go. Uh, let's see what this is all about. These look like probably land-based fighters, probably some Oscars. We'll see. Why is my task force moving to We need to have them move. Yep, these are Oscars and the Wildcats are engaging. That looks like they're turning away. They're running away. Okay, there we go. We got all of the Oscars. That's the last one dropping into on the beach. I think that's it. Let's take a look at the report. Report, please. Uh, 12 aircraft, they lost six. There's probably more on the way, but I don't see them yet. So we're gonna go ahead and retreat for now, but I suspect they will be coming back. So this group of bombers, whatever it is, has Passing pretty close to Hornet, so I'm going to launch one Dauntless, unarmed, basically a scout. And I'm going to go see what this is, if it's just one, or if it's a group of them. If it's a group of them, we'll launch all of our Wildcats and go shoot them down. But I want to see what it is first. So let's launch without just one plane, no bombs. And let's go take a look and see what this is, because I'm really curious... I'm hoping that it's a, a big group of them. And also, what's the weather look like? I'm, hope, ah, I'm hoping I might be able to... Actually, I need to be able to find them. Hornet's ready to launch aircraft if I need. Which I might. Depending on what I find here. Oop, Dauntless, here we go. Let's take a look. And see what we have. Oh, here they are. They are more Vals, and there are several of them, and they're right next to our task force. There are six of them. Let's retreat so I can launch some 
But right around here, we might have to wait though. Here, let's go, let's return to base. And if we see them, I don't know how long it's gonna take. It looks like the wildcats are on their way back to these wildcats. Yeah, and I might, if I'm gonna go after this group, I might wanna launch my other wildcats first to go after them, but I gotta be able to see them first. Or maybe I can wait until they fly down this way and then hit them with the fighters at Guadalcanal. Maybe I'll wait for that. Just depends on how soon I can find them again. Well, here they are over Vela la Vela, not that far away from Hornet. And the other Wildcats are about to land, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the rest of the of the Wildcats and go shoot these bombers down. We should be able to, if we can find them, but let's start moving. It looks like they're moving in this direction. Yeah, hopefully the Wildcats can chase them down. It's going to take a while, but we hopefully will be able to, and hopefully they won't disappear, which I've seen happen before. Also, <laughs> look at this. The Japanese got fighters. It looks like probably these are are uh, zeros, so their carrier must be right here right around here somewhere, like just out of reach of my center lens. I'm predicting it's going to be right in here somewhere. Let's launch. I, I'm going to launch some some lightnings. Oh boy, I wonder how many they got there. Let's launch half of them. And go shoot these down as well. We might as well shoot down as many of that carrier's aircraft as we can find. Uh, it's raining here, so I may not see them, although... Oh, wow. They they just slipped right past me. <laughs> Again, how did they do that trick? Yeah, they're coming in. Those bombs aren't going to do a whole lot to us. If one of them hits, I'm not too concerned. What I'm concerned about is that they're going to drop their bombs and then disappear. Alright, we got one of them. We shot one down. I didn't see any bomb hits. Let's take a look at the report. No, no hits. One shot down. Let's see if the fighters can chase after that one and catch up with it. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Yep, somehow it disappeared, and uh, we're not able to get it, so we'll retreat. Didn't do much damage to us. Um, maybe... Oh, now it's way out here. Well, let's see. This looks like another... Well, this looks like another one, actually. There were two on their way, weren't there? You can't outrun us. Goodbye. All right, two more zeros down. Well done. Very well done. All right, we'll have them probably actually hang out here. And maybe they can catch that other zero when it goes back to its carrier. I sent up some Air Cobras from Guadalcanal instead of the the um, instead of the Wildcats because the Air Cobras should be able to take care of these Vals. I have six of them here. I have six Wildcats. I'll probably get the Wildcats in the fight also. Now this is of course assuming I can find them. All right, we got them. So here we go, we're going to tear ourselves up some vowels.
Okay, it looks like just as the Wildcats showed up, the Air Cobras took care of all those valves. It took a little time, but they eventually did it. Let's take a look at the report. Yeah, we lost no nothing. They lost all six. That's six valves. We've shot down, I think, two or three others. So that's, well, it's going to be hard for that carrier to do any operations uh, once we shoot down all their aircraft. So let's retreat. And let's send the Air Cobras, have them return to base, and the Wildcats, same thing, go back to Hornet, because it is getting rather late. It's about almost 6.30 in the evening. We still haven't found the carrier, but again, I believe it's over here somewhere. down in flames and there he is splashing down into the ocean let's leave okay, that's another zero shot down I've already lost I think we've shot down at probably four or five zeros eight to ten uh, vowels I believe so if we ever do find that carrier it 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 uh, might not be that difficult because we do have by, you know, it's a little late now, but maybe in the morning we're going to have, uh, I can't see, but I think there was five P-38s here. They may be more than that tomorrow. Plus there was 11 uh, Wildcats and eight Air Cobras, I believe here. Plus the fighters from, from Task Force 7 and Hornet. Hopefully Hornet will be down here. Let's make sure that she's actually close tomorrow morning bring her down to about right there here's task force 20 i need task force one to catch up to her so we'll move them right about here i've been busy with uh fighting uh chasing down fighters and getting rid of them all right so it looks like things are calming down so we'll continue it's about 9:30, a little bit before at uh, night and there's a couple things i want to do before we end the episode. Task Force 30 has arrived at Ley, it appears. And I want to drop these troops. It looks like it's, yeah, it's mostly troops. I don't think we brought mm, any supplies. So let's unload and see what we have here afterwards. Make sure that they're all unloaded. Looks like they are. And at Ley, we now have 13,500 troops, 9,000 supplies. Um, I would be surprised if this lasted much longer. Let's go to Task Force 30 and bring them back to Buna. Same goes with Task Force 10, although we'll just hang out here and wait for them. Task Force 15, really I could not catch up to any of these, these uh, smaller task forces, so we'll just bring them back. Also, and I think uh, Task Force 20 has been here for, or 21, has been here for a while. Pretty sure they have. We're going to unload this uh, the cargo here at Guadalcanal. And we should have enough to raise the airfield level here. Okay, it looks like it's all unloaded. Let's go to Guadalcanal and increase the airfield capacity. I don't know how many units we have. We'll have to check in the morning, but I'm sure we have probably now a dozen, maybe more Wildcats. We'll see because we had 11 before, so maybe we'll have uh, 15. I'm not sure. Um but I'm going to leave it here. Again, it's uh, 9.20 at night. When we come back, it'll probably be 5 a.m. Ah, what do we have here? Task Force. Uh, oh, right. They're just... I didn't have enough fuel for them. So, okay. So when we come back, it'll probably be, probably be 5 a.m. And I'm going to probably hunt for that, that uh, carrier, Japanese carrier task force that's around here somewhere. And uh, I'm not... I'm not terribly concerned about Enterprise's lack of 
of aircraft. I mean, we do still have some, but if I can get her down here, we're going to have her aircraft plus Guadalcanals plus Malaitas and plus all the bombers at New Hebrides. So we actually, I think we have the, we're, if I can find the task force here, we will have the upper hand, I believe. But uh, we'll find out in the next episode. Until then, have a good day, and I will see you again next time. Thank you.